What is going on everybody? So a little while ago, if you have followed the channel, I kind of really got into the fountain pen thing. Uh, I've been carrying ball points, really cool ball points, you know, uh, tactile turn, some titanium stuff, various things. Uh, and I got into the ballpoint thing or the fountain pen thing. And I ended up wanting kind of an EDC everyday carry fountain pen. But the problem is, is a lot of fountain pens seem to be, and I'm not saying they are, but in my mind, they kind of felt too fragile. Uh, you had to kind of worry about them a little bit in order to EDC them until I found the Big Idea Designs Fountain EDC, this little guy right here. I've been using it for a while. I got a lot of input that I could give you. So I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes and show you some things that I do and I don't like about this pen. Uh, so let's get right into it. So here's the pen. I've got the DLC coded version. Um, it is very, very short uh, in the pocket. Uh, which is really cool because what I use to carry it in my pocket, because I don't like stuff getting banged around, is this little thing I found on Amazon. Uh, and so it clips like so, and this rides around in my pocket like that. So I have my Olight Arkfeld on here, as well as my pen. And it works really well. It just, I don't know, I, I really like it a lot. So that's the rig that goes in my pocket. That's how I carry it. Um, when we look at the pen itself, it's very short. Okay, so you would think as we uncap it, it's got a snap cap and there's an O-ring in here that keeps it kind of capping nice and clean and really airtight actually. So it clicks on like that, which is a nice capping experience and it pops off like so. The pen is actually very, very short. So in my hand, it would be very short. However, as we post the cap, which actually posts very nicely, like so, and it pops when you take it off. <laughs> so there you go. So it, it posts very nicely, and now it feels like a full-size pen in your hand, like it's not small at all. When we go to write with it, it's, uh, it's, it's just like, it just feels like a normal pen. Uh, I don't have any issue using it. I don't feel like it um, causes me any problem. There's no um, weird experience about it. Uh, one of the things that people say about the, I think this is a number six, it might be a number five. I can't remember, number six or number five. Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a five actually. No, I apologize. It is a six. It's a, I think it's a number six Bach nib uh, from Germany. They only come an extra fine. Uh, you can order different nib sizes and replace the nib size. The thing is, is what I've found with this nib is that I think the reason they went with a smaller nib, the extra fine, because people complain about it in reviews, and it's only available in an extra fine but I like it because it opens you up to being able to write on crappy paper. So, you know, of course we have a Rhodia number uh, 16 pad here, and this paper is fantastic. You can write with any fountain pen on this paper. It's m amazing. But when you're out and about and you need to sign a receipt or you need to sign some sort of, you know, you need to use your pen in a normal day, you need to sign a form at the bank, you need to, you know, fill out a deposit slip or whatever, that paper does not cooperate very well with, um, with fountain pens. And so having an extra fine takes care of that. Now the downside to it is, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but it can sound a little scratchy. because it's an extra fine. And it's, you know, it is definitely, um, it's definitely an extra fine. It's aligned properly. It, it was aligned when I got it. There was no issues with the nib itself. And the more I write with it, it just feels great. But the downside I said, like I said, is it again, it is very fine. But this is a five millimeter dot grid and you can write very clearly uh, in 
this space and you know be able to journal with it and all that kind of stuff and have no problems whatsoever i think it's you know it's a very well thought out pen and i'm glad they ended up going with an extra fine nib on it all right so there's a couple other things that i want to talk about with this pen as well when we start talking about daily use and filling and that sort of thing uh, so we'll pull the cap off here and then we will also pull the it unscrews from the section unscrews from the barrel there's another o-ring in there that keeps it nice and tight and inside we have a Kaveco compact uh, whatever they call their little compact piston filler um, converter so this is not your normal screw converter now it's inked up so i don't want to push on it but it's a plunger and plunger converters can suck it's okay it's not that bad it's no big deal uh, i have not had much issue with it the only thing that sort of bugs me sometimes is if it's in my little carrier here it when you care it will carry tip up right because of the way it carries in your pocket if you don't use it very often, then all the ink will actually run to the end of the converter and there won't be very much left in the section. And this converter has a tendency to like stick ink in the other end because there's no ball bearing or anything in this converter. So sometimes the ink will stick in the opposite end of the converter. Um, I, I've never run out of ink as a result of it, but I've just noticed it. So every night um, when I pull this out of my pocket, I set the pen sideways you know because this will sit on my nightstand or whatever and it'll sit sideways and the ink will act will run back to where it needs to run we're not writing pages and pages and pages with this thing every day it's literally just my edc pen that like i said receipts forms stuff at the bank signing things whatever so it's not like you need a lot of ink volume with this anyway because it's not a serious writing long writing instrument it's just an EDC style thing, so it's usually no issue. It will also take the short international converter, or uh, short international cartridge, and I have some um, Monteverde Black that I really like. I believe Monteverde Black is in this pen right now. Um, and I always put black in it because you don't know what you might need to do, and people, you know, if you're going to the DMV or you're going somewhere, um, you you kind of need black ink because a lot of people want you to sign stuff in black ink so i always put black ink in it but that's it that is the big idea designs fountain edc i am a super fan of this pen i don't have to worry about it i don't have to worry about beating it up the dlc looks fantastic obviously as it goes in and out of my pocket um, the one thing i will mention is that as I, when I first got it, I was clipping it on my jeans pocket and this, po this clip will open up over time. So uh, it's not, it's, I think it's just spring steel. So it will open up over time. That is why I changed to this little rig right here so that it was a predetermined amount that it would stretch out a little bit and then it would be fine. If you put it on your jeans, your jeans are gonna be a little thick and over time the clip is gonna open up somewhat. So that's why I do that and I just throw this whole thing in my front left pocket. So there you go. There is the Big Idea Designs Fountain EDC. So there you go. This thing lives in my pocket every day. I absolutely love this pen. I use it a lot. Again, like I mentioned, it's not a constant everyday writer that I sit and journal with. It's just the short task kind of on the run. I need a pen right now pen. It's great capacity for that, but not for like longer writing sessions. Uh, it's not, you know, it's comfortable, but it's just, I like a smoother nib for writing longer writing sessions, but the extra fine is great, you know, for crappy paper and stuff. So it works awesome. I recommend that you try one of these. I will leave a link to this in the description where you can get one. If you use that link, it will help out the channel. I do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.